Mausen Ram MLA at Shang Piang today lauded the government's efforts in dealing with the after-effects of the natural disaster in his constituency as heavy rains last week triggered multiple landslides which swept houses, blocked road connectivity, snapped power and mobile connectivity and took the lives of nine persons. Shang Piang also expressed his gratitude to Chief Minister Konrad Sangma for ensuring that roads were cleared and electricity restored within 24 hours and for giving ex gratia sanction letters to the next of kin of the deceased during his inspection of Dangar and Kanmin Sao. The Mausen Ram Emily also added that although a disaster cannot be predicted, the Disaster Management Department and the District Administration have to be prepared for any eventuality, adding that the Chief Minister during his visit had instructed officials to follow the Meteorological Department's predictions minutely. Well, I must really um, uh, appreciate and I thank uh, the Honourable Chief Minister Konrad Sangma uh, for his benevolence, uh, for his big heart. Uh, he spared his uh, valuable time from his busy schedule to uh, visit uh, Mausen Ram constituency. He visited Dangar. Uh, he went to the site where the mishap happened. Uh, then he met the uh, families uh, of the bereaved uh, families. Uh, then he again went to Kenman Sao where he met uh, the people there who have been affected. Um, just not that, he had carried along with him the sanction letters of uh, the ex gratia of 4 lakhs uh, rupees each uh, for those who lost their lives. And uh, he did give a lot of um, hope and commitment to the people of my area, uh, where uh, people in Dangar uh, were cut off from power and el electricity, they were cut off from uh, mobile connectivity, uh, he assured and he promised uh, the people of Dangar in his speech that uh, he would um, clear uh, the road uh, within a day. Then he did uh, promise the people that uh, within 24 hours they are going to get uh, power supply. Then he also promised that they going, he is going to get in touch with the Airtel so that mobile connectivity is restored. And... Uh, I must really thank him that uh, roads have been cleared, uh, power supply has been restored uh, within 24 hours, just as he kept his word. Uh, well, now we are left with just mobile connectivity. I think that is a little bit of uh, official procedures. Uh, I'm sure it will happen. And uh, really, uh, through this uh, channel, I'd like to thank the Honorable Chief Minister once again uh, for his big heart and his uh, benevolence. and. I appreciate one more thing uh, in the Chief Minister. Uh, he invited me uh, to sit in his car and said that this is not the time uh, for us uh, to, to show sides or to play politics, so we should all be together. And that is really um, uh, a statesman's uh, uh, quality that he has shown where uh, we travelled together, we sat together in the car and we discussed a lot of developmental activities, including uh, development of tourism for the Mausoram constituency as a whole. Uh, well, uh, you can't predict a disaster, uh, but uh, you need uh, to be prepared. Uh, the government is prepared. Uh, they have the uh, disaster management uh, uh, agency here. Uh, they have the SDRF. Um, on the day that uh, the incident happened, uh, the deputy commissioner uh, called me and he, she said that the SDRF uh, team has reached Mausen Ram. Uh, appreciate that. It was, uh, I think, by the incident happened about 6.30 in the morning and uh, by 11 o'clock, uh, the SDRF team were already in Mausen Ram. So, uh, preparedness is required, uh, though you can't predict an earthquake, you can't predict uh, floods. Uh, but, like um, the Chief Minister uh, uh, reminded uh, all of us the other day, that uh, in future, uh, the disaster uh, department or the deputy commissioner should uh, follow the, the Met Office uh, predictions uh, very minutely and uh, they should uh, evacuate uh, such a, a sensitive area where they think uh, they may have landslides, where they think they may have uh, floods and that would save uh, life and properties, if we can. 
so but i think uh, i appreciate uh, the efforts taken by the government you know, they have formed uh, the uh, the committees where uh, there is a committee uh, where the mlas are co chairman there and for east khasils and riboy uh, the deputy chief minister preston tunsong is the chairman and uh, the mlas concerned are the uh, co chairman and uh, they are a series of officers who are also in the committee uh this committee would be sitting shortly and would be reviewing uh the the damages and also would be reviewing uh other aspects of uh, future uh, calamities uh, that may occur again in the state